Hey, you're at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is uh, something we have been working on for a while and been in particular been working on this intake manifold for C-headed big block Ford. This is our new billet intake manifold with twin injector dynamic 2600s. Second set of injectors is down there, right underneath the runner and then up on top. This is on methanol. And so we obviously raise the uh, in, uh, fuel pressure. And this is 555 cubic inch, uh, big block Ford, C heads, uh, full ported, all our normal stuff through there. Our common, or you know, a, a specific camshaft been working on for this kind of application, uh, boosted, um, obviously, pro charge deal, uh, 136 with our Pro Volute inlet bell on a, a supercharger store gear drive, uh, waterman pump, um, highly fuel management on this. Now this is something, uh, you know, coil unplugged. These are smart coils, don't have the MSD 600 on it. Um, don't really need it for, for this application. Um, but this is what we have done here is been working on this intake manifold because this exact engine, everything here, the only thing that we have done is we've just freshened this up with a new set of rods. Everything else is exactly the same. Same pistons, uh, new rings, bearings, that kind of stuff. But uh, we dynoed this when uh, new with that manifold. So your common, uh, common single forward intake manifold with billet uh, elbow and throttle body and the normal uh, single 800 um, billet atomizers. And I'll show you what that all made. Previous, after we get done making a dyno pull, so we'll be able to do a direct comparison. And the only thing that's different is time frame. Uh, we dynoed it with that manifold last year in September. It's now November and of 2021. And we have gotten this manifold built and it took me a long time. I have one of these still left on the shelf and uh, we can get, uh, I can build more of those at any point in time, but it is a super nice piece. Um, still has water, uh, chimney panel up on the top. And uh, like I said, dual injectors, very good sweet spot for this. I can do it in a three injector uh, or two big injectors, uh, or one bigger injector, one small injector. A lot of things we can do here uh, if you wanted to have any kind of different models. So anyways, uh, like I said, real good piece here for uh, uh, John Gardner and a top dragster. So this is in his car, has been running in his car right now just with that intake manifold. And uh, so now we have this manifold, nice cool lower profile deal, five inch throttle body versus the four inch uh, with a five inch tube uh, with a 123 millimeter throttle body uh, versus the four inch and four inch throttle body he's had. So uh, it has uh, picked up a couple of pounds. Now this, the supercharger is spinning exact, everything is the same, same gear drive, same gear set, uh, same everything. Uh, just been working on tune-up with that manifold and that set of injectors and it has picked up a couple pounds of boost Got to be from tube throttle body and intake manifold uh, Just breathing better because the blower is exactly the same, but it is the same blower and uh, um, Obviously and then everything else is really just solely testing this new intake manifold. So I'm going to uh, put the camera down outside We'll make a uh, hit on this thing and uh, show you all the numbers. All right, let's take a look at numbers. Pretty good piece, obviously. Um, nice in this, uh, you know, top dragster, top sportsman, 
uh, big block Ford and a uh, nice piece said so, sorry about that darn monitor pulsing doesn't pulse on the uh, uh, in real life obviously but it does end up when it records someday I'll figure that out so I apologize for that uh, yeah, as you can see right here 3,007 horsepower at 8,400 RPM so it's just starting to roll over right here uh, I mean it's just pretty much done right up there um, making good boost right here you can see 1937 foot pounds of torque at 7800 uh, all the way down here at 4500 4600 rpm it's a uh, 1110 in torque 978 horsepower so really nice stout piece 136 methanol um you know other uh, new um big block ford billet intake manifold only available here uh, and like I said, you know, with uh, uh, two sets of injectors in it, so we're using the Injector Dynamics 2600s uh, and just have to raise the fuel pressure up. So, uh, and this thing is like really, really sweet uh, on the VE number and where it's at. They're, they they do exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, so it's very good. Let's take a look at uh, boost here. And if we take a look at our boost number, uh, boost. Oil pressure, oil pressure. There we go. Uh, all the way down to 4,600 is 12 pounds of boost. And our peak boost is actually 44 pounds of boost right there. And uh, so, pretty style piece. Super happy with that. Um, you know, and John's been running this. Uh, John and Matt have been running this car uh, already for a couple years. And uh, like I said, we just did the conversion. Uh, on the intake manifold and I'll show you what our intake manifold same everything else so all we did is just freshen this thing up in fact we didn't change pistons all we did is put rods in it same pistons same cam valve train uh, everything so it's just changed EFI I'm sorry just changed the intake manifold and injectors and it is a different tune uh, that is for sure so let me show you a difference in between the two pulls um, so that is that one and right there. And this was uh, last year, uh, September. You can see right down here, it says September of uh, 2020. And then today is on, uh, well, obviously, uh, 10 11 2021. And let's open that up and I'll show you a pretty dramatic comparison. And it does exactly what you would figure it should do. Uh, anytime you go into here and you can see the green line is previous and made previous uh, peak horsepower. It was maybe it would have went up a little bit right, right here is a 2773. So it was basically 2800 ish if we would have ran it out just a little bit more, but it was really started roll a little bit earlier. And what you can see is the normal deal uh, a, a big plenum short runner intake manifold uh, specific for boost like what I build these things for it's going to lose some down here um, but then it gains it up there so I mean obviously we're uh, 150 horsepower better right there and it's still climbing up here uh, you know up in that 3,000 just, just slightly over 3,000 horsepower area which is pretty darn close to uh, almost 200 horsepower better uh, up at that 8,500 area, anything from 7,000 being equal, 7,200 being equal and above, that is uh, super good. So that is just in our billet intake manifold. Uh, I'm really sorry about that stupid strobing deal. I wonder how you could, if it finds it, it's something that stabilizes it. There you can see a little bit better. But uh, really cool, uh, there's the, uh, uh, sorry, here's the uh, data log. Like I said, 44 pounds of boost, tune-up's real sweet. Um, let's take a slightly different tune-up, which is pretty interesting for the, uh, um, with that uh, injector dynamics injector. But uh, just an intake manifold change, injector change over the cast, single four barrel manifold. Uh, that's quite a pickup. So, anyways, everything's looking good. This thing is ready to rock and roll. I'm Steve Morris. Have a great day.